G'day guys, welcome back. Another little flip cup pour for you today. Now, do you remember that pour that I did the other day using Liquitex pouring medium and water? And the cells were amazing when they popped up, but then they spread and they spread and they spread. So I thought to myself, hey girl, what would happen if I used my glue and water mix, which holds the cells in place, and then the Liquitex pouring medium for the nice brightness of the cells. So that's what I've done here. I've got Elmer's Glue All Water and Liquitex pouring medium. So we shall see uh, how it goes. It's a little bit tricky trying to get the right consistency because you know it's a different pouring medium, but I'm gonna just go with it and hope it's not a bit too thick still. So it leaves a mound on a mound. One, two, three. The trace is gone in three seconds. Let's just go for it. If I make it any thinner, I'm going to have the same problem that I had last time and the cells are going to grow too big. Treadmill silicone oil for cells. Let's do three drops. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> I wasn't even going to paint again tonight because I've been painting and I've been resining and I was just going to relax and watch a movie tonight. Actually, no, it's Sunday night. Um, Big Brother and MasterChef. So that's what I'm going to be watching tonight. Tried watching a zombie movie today, but oh my gosh, it was shocking. I had to turn it off. <laughs> oh. Both zombie movies are really good because I love zombie movies, you know, virus movies, um, haunting movies, you know, ghosts, things like that. I love all that kind of stuff, but gee, there's some bad movies out there, isn't there? So anyway, but I just got a notification when I was mixing paint. I just got a, a, blah, 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 a notification that um, one of my favorite artists has just put a video up. So yay, feed the dogs, go and sit down and watch that right let's do this that feels much better <laughs> consistency wise let's do two layers in each cup yeah that's looking much better the paint's not rising up like it did on the last one it's just you know lying flat so that's always a good thing so what I'm hoping for is the nice round cells that I get from the glue because it holds the cells well in place but the nice clarity and brightness of the cells and the paint color that I get from the Liquitex pouring medium. Red's a bit thick see it's um you can see it's um, not lying flat it's making a little ridge there. I'm going to put a splash of water in the rest of it even though you've got the same brand paints, some of them will be thicker, some will be thinner. The white paint, for instance, is really thin. I always have to add an extra blob of paint. So I don't know what it is about the, the red. See, that one's lying flat. It's not raising, raised up. If it stays raised up, then it's too thick, which is what it was doing on my previous pour. And I should have known better. Should have... Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Didn't. Alright, it's the last of the white. <clears throat> Hopefully this will work. But if it doesn't, I will keep practicing because I am not one to give up. So as I said in the previous video, stick to your pouring medium. Don't keep changing pouring mediums if one doesn't work. Stick to the one you've got and change your consistency. Don't just go from one pouring medium to another because you're never going to get it right. It's all about the consistency. And write down what you're doing, how much glue you're putting in or pouring medium, whatever you're putting in, plus the water. Weigh everything. So then when you do find the one ratio that works, you'll know exactly how to replicate it because you've written it all down and you've weighed it so you can easily get the same thing again, can't you? Yes, <laughs> you can, but only if you write down what you do. Oh, I 
there was a bit of a, a blob in there. Maybe not. Probably find it later. All right, that's the turquoise. So these, same as before, they're the March Studio Acrylics. And uh, once I get my ratio right, I'll tell you what my ratio is on the pouring medium. There's no point me telling you what it is and then you, and it doesn't work. So wait till I've got it right. And then I'll tell you what it is. Because I don't want you all doing it if it's not going to work. Hey, right, that's enough of that one. Finish you off with some. This is... Um, Warm yellow, We've got brilliant red, turquoise, and navy blue that I made with the phthalo blue and a blob of black, and then the white. It's pretty easy to make your own colours, really. You can make a beautiful colour with um, turquoise and a little blob of phthalo blue that makes a beautiful coastal turquoisey colour. Okay. I did put my oil in, didn't I? Yeah, I think so. All right, now I'm sorry, I'm gonna shake the table because the tripod is just there, this far away from my canvas. So every time I shake my canvas or my table, the camera shakes. All right. I haven't sprayed the cups, got plenty of paint. Look, cells. And when I did just the Liquitex pouring medium, did you see that video? That was like the three videos ago in this series. Um, the cells popped up, but then they all kept growing and they joined together and yeah, it wasn't all that attractive. Not, oh, I don't like that type of cell anyway. Other people might, I, I don't. Right, let's go. I should be putting a cup here and a cup there. Is what I should be doing. Anyway, let's do this. Okay, that's looking better. I'm actually going to turn you so I can get a slightly different colour. I don't know why, but it just does. <laughs> you turn it and you get a different colour. Oh, look, I didn't stir my silicone properly. I've got a, a wormy creature there. And, and there. Don't be tempted to put more paint in there, okay? Right. See, that's what happens when you don't stir your silicone enough. You get a blob of silicone and then it stretches. That's all right, I'll be able to tip that off. Um, no, I was going to torch, but I won't. I'll do half of this first. I've got plenty of paint, so let's just... Yeah, you can go. Off you go. You're not nice. All right. Now those colours are amazing, nice and bright. There's a wormy creature through there, but oh my gosh, the colours, you guys. So bright and vibrant. All right, now let's see if I can not stuff this up and not torch too close. Round and round in little circles. Don't get too close. Holding my breath. Concentrating. Got the light shining in my eyes. I can't see what I'm doing over here. cells are still quite small but hopefully they'll stretch out and be big beautiful cells got a few caterpillars um, it's telling me my mix is still a little bit on the thick side but they're not too bad see these this one here this big long one but he's not too bad he's not like he's not joined 
like a centipede. <laughs> All right. Um, now I haven't even been close enough so that I could actually pop bubbles. So gives you an idea how far away I was because I'm not even popping bubbles. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute um, and let the cells come up. This is a bit busy over here, so I'll tip a bit of that off. But I like that yellow there. I'm glad this one's got a little bit more blue in it, but aren't the colours really bright? Must be from the Liquitex pouring medium, maybe. But we'll see what happens when I stretch them out. All right, are you ready? Plenty of paint. Now I'm just going to get some of this off. I'm gonna, uh, I'll see if I can get that worm off as well. There goes the worm. Okay, now I'm going to... Uh, a little bit more. Alright, now let's put it down there for a minute. And I'll think about what I want to do. Um, I want to get rid of this caterpillar here. And I need to get up to that corner there. And try and get that off. But I've got plenty of paint to do it. See, most people say, oh, look at all the paint that you threw off. Yeah, I did, but I need to have that extra paint that I can tip off. Then I've still got enough paint to, to move around and do what I want to do. So, now if you don't have enough paint, you're not going to get a good result. Trust me. Go off that corner. turn all right okay oh wow that's looking much better you guys we've got a blue streak through the middle and then we've got the orangey yellowy colors on the sides all right I'm it's starting to get a little bit overstretched now <clears throat> see these cells up here starting to get a little bit overstretched so I need to stop, although I would like to stretch those out a bit more. What I need to do is get the weight of my paint here so that that can go off a little bit. And then back. And, and that's just opened, opened those up a little bit more. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, now stop fiddling. Um, yeah, know when to stop, you guys. Know when to stop. <clears throat> Righto. Um, I'll, I'll do my corners later. I'll take you down for a bit of a close-up. Because it's really, really quite bright. Oh, I should have zoomed you in a bit more. The colours are really nice. Um, all right, let's get down for a close-up. I'm just going to go around the back of the tripod. Oh, actually, I'll go over the top of the tripod. <laughs> there we go. I'm working on the other side at the moment because I've got um, coasters there next to me. Oh, now I've got the ring light. Okay. Righto. Let's focus. Look at the vibrancy of those colors now I've used these colors before and you know I, I do love them but they just look a little bit brighter than what they normally do and I'm assuming it's the um, the Liquitex basics not the Liquitex basics the Liquitex pouring medium that's doing it look at those cells they look as if they're glowing. Those ones there, not so much. Um, there's obviously, I think that's my red that's a bit thick. Woo, here we go. Yeah, I think my red was a little bit too thick there. But uh, yeah, really pretty. Look at these ones. Red, yellow, blue rings. So pretty. Oh, did we look at the turquoise ones? 
uh, blue, yeah, turquoise with red in the center. The red was just a little bit thick, so it's just gone a little bit grainy, but the rest of it is pretty amazing, if I do say so myself. Pretty good. Um, I could make it a little bit thinner, the mix, so I'll have a play with it. But um, yeah, liking this. I may even change my pouring mix, my pouring medium from glue and water to glue and water and Liquitex pouring medium. But we'll see. It's expensive, so you know I get I get good results from glue and water, but um, I just don't get the the same vibrancy. This is amazing, the colours. All right, I'll leave it there. But let me know what you think. If you think that you can see a marked difference in my 